In lab, I almost always have my headphones in, but I listen to different things depending on the scenario. Thing number one, podcasts. If I am doing something repetitive, like doing an RNA extraction, or I'm in the cell culture hood and I'm just changing media, or I'm doing something where I'm just pipetting a liquid over and over and over again, I would go crazy if I just had to listen to the inside of my own brain. So that is when I listen to podcasts. One of my absolute favorites is called Sawbones, and it's a husband and wife pair, and the wife is a doctor and the husband is a comedian, and they talk about medical history and she explains things to him, and it's hilarious and wonderful when I'm in the lab and think I'm a mad scientist, and they're talking about actual mad scientists. I also love things that are just people telling great stories, stuff like Snap Judgment and This American Life, stuff where people are just sharing parts of their human experience with the world, I love that. I love those kinds of podcasts. I also try and use podcasts to expand my horizon. I love listening to 99% Invisible, which is all about design and how it interacts with our life, which is so cool to me because it's not something I think about all the time. I've also been listening to one called Lore, which is sort of creepy and talks about horror stories. So I listen to podcasts when I'm doing something where I don't want to think. But what about when I do want to think? If I'm at my desk trying to do research or trying to write something, or if I'm doing something where I have to count in my head, like I'm doing qPCR and I have hundreds of little wells in front of me and I have to count and make sure I know which ones I've added liquid into and which ones I haven't, then I like listening to ambient music. It can't have words, it can't be something that I know because then I'll sing along and that's really counterproductive to the, you know, counting in my head thing. This is where I often actually turn to Spotify playlists. They have focus playlists and I love uh, productive morning or morning productivity, it's one of those, and then there's a deep focus, and they're just like ambient, noisy kind of tracks. I sort of put my headphones in as a sort of symbol to myself that I'm now using this sort of ambient music and noise to really focus in on the task. But sometimes I'm just in lab late at night and there's nobody else around, and I'm tired and I'm hungry and I kind of want to go home, and this is where I kick into fun music. This is music that I like. This is music that I dance around to. This is music where I put my headphones in and I really hope that there's nobody else in lab because I'm pipetting, but I'm also dancing around. So sometimes it's just fun music. It's music to keep me motivated, to get me through the day, to sort of amplify whatever emotions I'm feeling and sort of bring them out into the world to create better science. Somehow. So if you see me in headphones, that's what I'm listening to. Podcasts if I'm doing something boring and repetitive calm, quiet, ambient music if I really need to focus, or something fun and peppy if I just need a little bit of a mood boost in my day. Science?